ask you, you know who was absolutely fascinated with America? No. Stalin. He said he respected the American dynamic, pragmatic spirit. You see that? You see that? So don't be ashamed even intellectually to be Americans. Well, come on. Of course not. I think that most of the people are boring, stupid, and so on. But here I have absolutely all the freedom to do whatever I want. I have well, let me tell you what I believe you can determine, you know, what, what we mean by it, okay? Yeah, totally, totally. Okay. The problems we face are enormous. If we are going to prevent this country from sliding into oligarchy. We all saw James Cameron's Titanic. Remember the rich, spoiled girl who's in a life crisis? And the function of Leonardo DiCaprio is to bring some of the lower class vitality to restore her ego. And then after doing this, he can disappear. It's a little bit like E.T. goes home, but he goes down. <coughs> Let me be clear. I am proud to be here, and I hope I at least made you start thinking. Let me tell you something. I think what we want to do is build on our strengths, which aren't many, yeah, to deal with the issue of more equality and try to figure out how we make it better. But the point the is... The important thing is not to engage in some crazy, destructive uh, experiments, but to open up the space of thinking. Okay. Um, I hope you and other intelligent people also know this. <coughs> Look, you're right. This country does a lot that we should be very, very proud of and build on. Yeah, yeah. But there are a number of countries around the world that we can learn from. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Most countries are much worse than United States. Well, I don't think so. I honestly don't. Well, I'm very misanthropic, you know. <laughs> 